Hi, my name is Yanis Canelos and I'm going to show you how you can use Fuse Fabric in order to install, manage and provision a Camel and ActiveMQ clustered application inside your local network. I'll be using a snapshot version of Fuse ESB which has Fuse Fabric installed out of the box. First, I'm going to initialize the Fabric registry and load the default profiles. A profile is a set of configuration data, bundles and CARA features and are the basic building blocks in Fabric. Assigning one or more profiles to a container specifies what should be installed and how the container should be configured. Once I initialize the Fabric registry, I can list the containers in my clusters and see that there is only one container in it. I can now list the default profiles. In this example, we are going to use the Camel profile, the MQ profile and the example Camel profiles. Fabric provides all the necessary tools to install new containers on any SSH enabled host. This command will create a new container in the designated host and assign it the default profile. The MQ profile defines all the necessary configuration, bundles and features in order to create a new message broker that will automatically register itself to the Fabric registry so that other containers running in the cluster can automatically discover it and use it. Once the container is created, the Fabric agent will make sure that it downloads and installs all the necessary bundles. I am now going to create a new container in another host and assign it the example camel profile. The example camel profile is one of the examples shipped with the fabric distribution and it actually demonstrates the discovery of message brokers via fabric. It actually provides two routes for producing and consuming messages from a fabric discovered message broker. Please note that if I had more containers running under the MQ profile, I would have multiple brokers in my cluster, which would run in a master-slave fashion. I can now list the cluster services and say that the message broker is one of them. Now I'm going to connect to the container that's running the example camel profile and get the list of camel routes that are running on it. Now we are going to take a closer look at Route 1, which is actually a timer which produces messages to our clustered message broker. Can you see the number of exchanges as they complete over time? For more Fabric and Camel coolness, you can join Camel 1 2012. I hope to see you there.